Hey guys, this is Sam Garza with World Travels Today. I'm here at the Bodega Martin Kodax, which has a lot of history in the region. Uh, I'm, I'm happy to be here. We're gonna learn about the wine, the Albariño. We're gonna take a tour. You're gonna get to meet our tour guides. And you're also going to see us taste a little bit of wine. But in between those two things, they're gonna teach us about the process of how they produce this amazing wine here in Galicia. I was fortunate enough to have two amazing guides. Maria Otero led my private tour and she guided me to the winery cellars and gave me the story behind the brand. So why the name Martin Kodax? Martin Kodax was a poet writer from the uh, 13th century uh, part of Portugal and part of Galicia. Uh, and Martin Kodax at that time wrote about the Albariño, a grape here in this area. So what the current bodega has done is gone back and took that description, that person who, who embodies what's inside the bottle to the modern day. After learning about the name behind the brand and before any wine tasting, I was guided to the processing plant and the scent room where you can learn about the aromas that are inside the wine. Gracias. <laughs> Should I taste the chocolate first? You recommend? Oh, yes. yes, right? Yeah, please. I'm not a very. It's kind of soft. White chocolate, I don't But know. chocolate is something that makes our lives easier. Yeah. Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does. It's <laughs> like. <laughs> After some delicious white chocolate, we began our tasting with the winery's flagship, the Martin Kodax, and then we tasted. The Lias. So, and the wine of the stranger tasting is Organistrum. It has nothing to do with organic, as the name is, it's got a very nice, beautiful story, which is the story of a musical instrument. Nice. So, Martin Coras, he was a poet, he was a musician who played a uh, unique sort of guitar made here in Galicia in the 13th century and the name of that guitar it was Organistrum and that guitar it was made with oak and this wine is the only wine made in the winery with oak fermentation. Nice. So What's beneficial is that uh, I think I'm the first person who's tasting the 2017 uh, harvest and they've also allowed me to taste their two new bottles the Lias and the Organistrum, and the Lias was uh, just voted or recommended by a very uh, distinctive group in Spain as the best white wine in Spain. So this is fantastic. Uh, Maria is showing me and helping me go through the tasting, uh, what, I'm, what we're looking for. So we're definitely looking forward uh, to you coming here uh, and joining World Travels today in the summer and fall to get a tasting of what you're looking at here. We had a fantastic time visiting the Bodega Martin Kodax. Uh, very informative, our guides, uh, Maria Noel Noelia, were very informative, gave us a really good presentation about their, their famous wine. It is delicious. We got to try their two new bottles, which was really fun. But more importantly, what I learned uh, that I find fascinating is that there are 600 families involved in behind the name and in the name of Martin Kodax. And these families own the vineyard, or they own the winery, and they produce their own uh, grapes in their own family plots and bring them to the bodega uh, for production. So that to me is fascinating that it's a cooperative. It's, uh, it, it comes from their heart and soul, and even though uh, it started in 1986, uh, these people's families or their plots go back for centuries. So. Even though the bottle might look modern, inside that bottle uh, is heritage and family. And that's what Martin Kodaks is about. <laughs>